Our mission, I think, is very powerful. Our mission is to bring health through food to as many people as possible. One recent example of that that I know our team is very proud of and I'm proud of is how we've been able to react to the infant formula crisis in the United States over the last number of months. And that has looked like us being able to mobilize uh, with partners, including the FDA and the White House and beyond to be able to bring our number one infant formula brand in Europe, Aptimil, for just one example, into the United States and serve families. That's the intersection of performance and purpose and therefore our mission really at scale. Danone's a 100-year-old company, probably best well-known as, I would say, sort of the founder of the yogurt category in this, in this country, but also a business which is now far beyond yogurt. So in addition to being the number one player in yogurt across North America, we're also the number one plant-based business in North America with brands like Silk, uh, with a presence in beverage and, and plant-based food and beyond. Really important to the heritage of our business is something we call the Dual Project. And in fact, the origins of it go all the way back to 1972 and a really foundational speech that the chief executive of the Danone Group made at that time which really pointed out the idea that the responsibilities of our business go far beyond our factory gate. And so the dual project in its, in its most simple form is a responsibility for us to grow the business and have a vibrant economic business, but also to do that in a way which benefits people and society. There's been a few really important structural shifts through and since the pandemic. Firstly, what we've seen is very specific health benefits that have become more and more relevant. Everything from zero and low sugar, high protein, immunity, gut health, and beyond, but the acceleration of very specific functional needs around health and wellness for multi-generations in the US and across Canada has been very, very clear. We have seen an increase in consumers' desire for healthier foods and an appreciation for the role that food can play for their sense of health and well-being. And we think that that makes our portfolio and our mission more relevant than ever before. I think Too Good is just a fantastic example of our performance and purpose, culture and action. And it's actually pretty straightforward in terms of performance. It's a very consumer-centric proposition. High protein, low sugar, great taste. It's a brand which has got purpose at its core and core to its consumer promise, primarily around food waste. In the US, a third of food is wasted. A third of it is wasted at the farm level. Too Good Good Save was launched in 2021 when we asked ourselves, what would an activist brand really do to make a scalable, sustainable difference by addressing food waste? We rescue fruit, put it into our yogurt, and we talk about it on our pack so that consumers know that when they choose a Too Good Good Save product, they are using verified rescued produce that is helping to fight food waste, which is a top contributor to climate change. Too Good has, I think, been a fantastic example for us of innovation at scale, our purpose at the core, and a brand that we're really, really proud of. We talk a lot and have a, a huge emphasis inside our business on innovating in what we sell. And by that, I mean the product and our ability to constantly upgrade and innovate and create the next generations of products in our business. Just one example, I think, is what's happening in our plant-based business where we have the technology and the know-how to be able to produce game-changing plant-based products. We have recently launched um, a new dairy-like segment with Silk Next Milk, as well as So Delicious Wonder Milk. And we are really excited about this innovation. Uh, we believe that this uh, you know, incredible offering will uh, help us uh, recruit more consumers in the plant-based categories and lead to the next wave of growth as well. Indeed, we see more and more consumers seeking plant-based products. There are various reasons uh, for our consumers' interest in plant-based foods and beverages. The main reason um, is health. 
But at the same time, they are also thinking um, to reduce their impact on the environment. We know that more than half of consumers cite taste as the top barrier for not purchasing plant-based products. They want plant-based products that you know, mimic uh, milk and dairy products. We decided to, to take that challenge heads on. So basically, you know, we uh, leverage our unparalleled expertise in both dairy and uh, plant-based to deliver a plant-based product that uh, has the same taste and texture uh, as dairy. You know, with our legacy brands, uh, Silk and, um, and So Delicious, I think over the, the past decades, we have um, delivered innovative and nutritious plant-based products. Today, Silk is America's our number one brand uh, on plant-based beverages, plant-based creamer, as well as soy and almond milk um, yogurt. One Plan and One Health strategy for our company really acknowledges that health and environment overlap. And as a food company, we need to be thinking about both ends. Where is that food grown? How does it get to us? And how does it ultimately impact the consumer that buys it? When we think of acting down our supply chain, working with our farming partners on soil health, on regenerative agriculture, that framework of One Planet, One Health helps us identify those issues where we can have the biggest impact, where it's most meaningful to our company, where it's most meaningful to our stakeholders, and also gives a framework for how, what our efficacy should look like. Our regenerative agriculture strategy here in the United States really started with what we call the Soil Health Initiative. Uh, and it's a multi-year uh, process, a multi-year strategy that starts with literally knocking on farms doors in our supply chain and saying, do you want to be a part of this? And we've been recruiting farms, um, dairy farms, almond farms, and others to say, sign up, work with us, let's collect the data, let's learn how we can impart better practices, um, regenerate the soil, regenerate the farming system. We look at what is the value to the farm and then how do we bring that value to our brands and ultimately the consumers. It's the full spectrum that we have to bring this strategy into and find the value on both ends for us to succeed. And we're excited about the years to come and continue to work with more farms in our system. I think the expectations for companies is rapidly evolving. The bar is being raised constantly on a day-to-day -day and year-to-year -year basis. It's number one, to be transparent. We can't just say something and say that's who we are. We have to show it, we have to demonstrate it, and we have to have others back us up on it. So that's one of the reasons why becoming a B Corp, certified B Corp is so important to us. It's not just what we're saying, but we're adhering to a framework that others have built and that others are measuring us to. So our B Corp certification is a really important governance component of the business first and foremost. And it's really a requirement at its heart for us to have a certification and a certification that we do business in the right way. Our B Corp certification shows up in many areas, but three that I would really point to. One, what we sell and the products we sell and the fact that they bear that B Corp certification. Two, how we engage with our stakeholders and what we advocate for, and three, our people and our culture. You know, one really, I, I think, clear example of that is our market-leading parental bonding policy, which is just the right thing to do via our people and their families. The planet imperative is critical and clear. The health imperative is clear and present, and for me to have the privilege to be able to lead a business that is trying to do business the right way while growing our business is really important to me personally. I know it really matters to all of our donors across North America.